Today we are making Jay's favorite chutney steak, isn't it? Yes, it is his favorite. <laughs> All right, so it's as easy as two ingredients. Okay, so we just, um, some Worcester, Worcester sauce. sauce spice. <laughs> and what's the other one? Chutney. So we can use any steak that you want. And you know, make sure your pan is nice and hot. I've already cut off all the excess fat of our steak, so this is a nice good. lean piece of meat. What are we going to do with our steak? What ideas can we give our subscribers as to what they can do with steak? How can they eat it? Okay, so steak on its own makes an amazing dinner with some roast veggies or some salad. But, like now, if we've one is too much and you've got a leftover steak for lunch for tomorrow, then Hazel, how about we chop some up and you can make a wrap. So we have a steak wrap or a sweet potato wrap. <gasps> okay. So how does Jay like his steak? Um, Ray, medium to well, he likes burnt. <laughs> medium to well. Actually, however I make it. <laughs> <laughs> Who rules the kitchen? <laughs> so we make it nice. <laughs> juicy, juicy is good. Juicy okay, is good. how's that steak looking, Hazel? It's nearly ready. Awesome. I think we can actually even take the one off. Okay, so when do you put the chutney on? While it's still in the pan or do we take it out the pan? As soon as it looks like reasonably ready and it has a nice color mm -hmm. right now, then we can add the chutney. So actually all you do is, you don't add a lot. You add about a teaspoon or so. Because add steak. A, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as the, the chutney heats up, it becomes like more, it becomes more runny. Which just like multiplies itself mm. it's and like it does it get sticky like a basting yes oh remember it's healthier because it doesn't have all of that sugar in it anymore. absolutely i can see why this is his favorite yes okay mm -hmm. so there we go all done sort of wow our jay steak ready to be served enjoy jay <laughs> <laughs>